On the restrictions in the denominator, that trinomial, there is no number that will cause that to become zero. You get the cubes and you have that trinomial in the denominator. There's no number that will cause that to become zero. So I don't want you to spend a year trying to do that. Just worry about the first part for the restriction. Greatest common factor in the numerator. All right, I'm going to do this here, which gives me this, right? So that can go down even further to this, correct? The denominator is perfect cubes. All right. How did we factor perfect cubes? We ended up with a binomial times a trinomial. What's the sign that goes in the first one? It's negative because that's what's in the original problem. The next sign is always opposite the first one, and the last sign is always positive. I look for the cubed root of x cubed and the cubed root of 27. Then what do I do in those three empty spaces? Multiply, square, 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 multiply, square. We square this first term, then we multiply x and 3 together, then we square the last term. All right? Remember I told you this trinomial here will never be able to be factored any more than that. Also, there's no number that will cause this to be 0. But there is a number that could cause this to be 0. What is it? Positive 3. So x cannot equal 3. And then now what do I go about doing? Wait, what did you say for the other one? There's no number that's going to cause this to be 0. Okay. okay. So, so there's no restriction on that x. Those x's. And then, then I cancel. What can cancel? X minus 3. X minus 3 is the only thing that can cancel. All right? So we have 3 times x plus 3 over that. Don't put it back together when you get the final answer. Just leave it factored. Okay? So we've got to remember, don't forget about greatest common factors. Don't forget about cubes. All that stuff. Okay, homework tonight, number 46 through 51, all.